Get ready for a most interesting and decisive Bible reflection using today's Gospel passage as our guide. As we dwell deeper into Matthew chapter 16 verses 24 to 28, some of the most vital decisions that will affect our faith life and spirituality in the present and future are covered by Jesus in today's Gospel. In addition, you'll find hidden within today's passage key aspects concerning blessings and rewards that will affect our life, our present and our future and cover life's ups and downs all the way till our last breath and beyond. Take note, in today's journey into the Word, Jesus makes five key statements and it's all there hidden in the five verses in today's Gospel. And it's best to start with the core statement hidden in today's Gospel, and that is, decide how rewarding life is going to be. Can you guess in which verse this statement is hidden in? You can go and read the passage once again and try to identify that vital verse by pausing the, this video right now. By the way, have you ever thought about how rewarding you'd like your life to become and be, both in the present and in the future? Take note, where you are in your life today is based on all the decisions you made in the past. And the key changes we make in our life today and the decisions we make today can reward us both in the present and in the future all the way into eternity. And that's what Jesus is asking us to decide today. As we look at the first verse in today's Gospel, which is Matthew chapter 16, verse 24, Jesus challenges us to see life from his perspective. It's only when we see verse 24 from Jesus' perspective will we understand the power and the true meaning within and beyond this verse. Jesus challenges us to become his more faithful follower. If we say yes, we are willing, then he says, take up your cross and follow me. So, What's that cross? The answer is hidden within the verse. The cross is to deny ourself. The greater the sacrifices, the greater the rewards. The question is, what should we sacrifice? So let's ask ourselves, are we our number one priority and focus daily in our life? That means, do we always think only about ourselves and keep focusing on our needs, our priorities, our life, our well-being, and so on. Most of us will say, of course. The question is, besides ourselves and our loved ones, how much time and focus do we give God? Taking up our cross means we must be willing to make God our number one priority and focus above Ourself. Taking up our cross means we must be willing to put God's will and call above our self-centered desires. And that decision affects how rewarding our life can become and be. Jesus makes it clear in verse 25 that the person who wants to save his or her own life first will lose it. And those who lose their life for Jesus' sake will find it. In other words, if we seek to please God and focus on His will and call, God Himself will fulfill the desires of our heart. Freely give to God first and watch how generously He rewards us for our sacrifices done freely for His sake, as stated in Matthew Chapter 6, verse 33, which says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, 
and all shall be added unto you. So let's remember that every sacrifice we make for God's sake is an investment in the Trinity. And such sacrifices will bring us rewards both in the present and in the future and all the way into eternity. As we move on to verse 26, let's take note of the hidden warnings within it. What if we fulfill all the desires of our heart and build the lifestyle of our dreams? Imagine our life filled with all the possessions and comforts. But unfortunately, we have to leave it all behind for failing to respect and understand that our breath is in God's hands. Putting ourselves first above Him may end up in us losing everything we accumulated just because we didn't keep God in the equation. Today, let's realize that it's He who is holding our breath in His hands. The pandemic taught us that great lesson. If at all we learned anything from the pandemic, hope we have learned that vital lesson and that is our breath is in the Creator's hands. So once again, we have to decide how rewarding we want our life to become and be. The next verse, verse 27, could probably be the most interesting verse in today's Gospel. Did you know that our past and present behavior is actually affecting the percentage of our blessings. Yes, verse 27 makes it crystal clear that every one of us will be rewarded according to our behavior. So let's pause and check if our thoughts, our words and our actions and what comes out of us is pleasing to God or not. Yes, friends, we need to get this right. Our rewards, our blessings, and the divine graces and privileges and the level of goodness we can enjoy are all truly dependent on our ABCs, which is our attitude, behavior, and character. And that affects how we treat God and our neighbor, which covers every soul God has put in our daily life journey. If you feel you are infallible and perfect in your attitude, behavior and character towards God and others, then blessings should already be overflowing in your life. If not, let's pause and check which areas of our life are still in need of changes. If you are having difficulty doing it, ask the Holy Spirit to prompt and guide and reveal it to you. As we come to the last verse in today's Gospel, which is Matthew chapter 16, verse 28, Jesus offers a special privilege to those who choose to fulfill all the requirements in the previous four verses. Well, although this verse can be interpreted in many ways, today, let's qualify and become worthy to claim it as recommended. Let's ask ourselves if we'd like to be welcomed by Jesus into eternity at our last breath. Let's start fulfilling the requirements in verses 24 to 27 so that we will enjoy the ultimate reward of being taken up by Jesus into eternal life at our last breath. So today, Let's use the gospel passage to decide how rewarding we want our life to become and be. Amen. And so be it from today in our life. Amen.